Uh, so what you do is you calculate how much your bills are per month. And I usually add 10% on top of that because you know certain bills fluctuate. So water bills, light bills, things like that, they change. Uh, so what you can do is have your direct deposit, you gotta have a job or some sort of income now, right? <laughs> and that money goes directly to those accounts automatically, all right? So that way you're automatically saving, you're automatically putting away for an emergency, so if your transmission goes out, water heater breaks, things like that, you have a place to pull from. Uh, that's, that's key. Remember, discipline is the key. And you also have a little bit of money going to your leisure. You only use your leisure for leisure. You do not tap into your bill account to take care of leisure, okay? And this is something that's big. I know we don't look at tight as this option. That's a bill, like we're gonna pay tight. We're gonna pay tight. No matter what, I remember um, it was a time where I had lost my job, I was pregnant with our son, and pastor was giving, giving. And I said, well, you, you, you think you wanna calm down on your giving? He said, I, he said, I'm giving what God told me to give. That's right. And I looked at him and I said, yes sir. And uh, it, it wasn't that I said, it was like tight is mandatory. It was his offer, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm not working right now, you know? Um, but he said, I'm giving what God told me to give. So when we're talking about finances, the first thing we need to talk about is make sure you're tithing. Mm -hmm. God is not going to bless your finances if you're not tithing. Mm -hmm. And so make sure you tithe. That is so important to us. That's, that's, that comes out of our bill account, y'all. Because that's, we, that we're so, that's so big to us. That's why we, we budget tithe. That's a, that's a, that's a line out of tithe. Yes, and remember, when it comes to tithing, you may say, oh, well, why am I giving? Uh, well, you know, in addition to being obedient to the word of God, God has allowed us through our government system for you to be able to write that off above a certain amount. Uh, so you can get tax credit for that, okay? So that's a, one thing you can do. So any contribution that you have throughout the year to your church or to a charitable organization, you can write that off on your taxes. Everybody knew that? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right.